Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to make your own structs inside of Unreal Engine 5. Inside of your project C++ classes, go and right click to add a new C++ class. For a struct, we are going to add the none as the parent class. Now for a struct, we do not need a C++ file. So inside of the C++ file, control A for everything and delete it. And then you can save because we will not be using a C++ file. Next, we can go into our header file because that's where all the magic is done. To start, you can take all of this and delete it. Next, we have to declare this empty struct as a structure. To do that, we use the keyword struct and then we type key F and then we write out the name, in this case, example struct. From there, you can hit enter to give yourself the curly braces and now your struct is made. But now we have to make sure that this is usable in blueprint and beyond. So let's talk about it. First, to make it a blueprint struct, we are going to make a new line and we are going to declare this as a use struct. By using use struct and calling it a blueprint type, this struct will now be accessible in Blueprint. But we're gonna continue having all of these errors show up until we add another include. So let's include our file name, which is example struct. Notice there is no F here, dot generated dot H. Now we actually need to set up the struct. The first thing that every structure needs is a generated body. You can do that with this line here. Now, just like any other class that you build inside of C++ for Unreal, you can then declare and define all of the variables that you want for the structure. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to have two variables. First, an integer, and then an array of integers. Just like every other C++ file, if you want it to show up in Blueprints, it needs to be a U property where you define the access and the ability to read and write it on Blueprint. Now we're gonna try and build this. With your Unreal Editor closed, because this is a header file, Control, Shift, and B to build the project. I got an error because I don't know how to spell. If we add in an R to make this example struct and then rebuild with Control, Shift, B, you can see that our build succeeds despite the fact that IntelliSense is having a little bit of a hissy fit with all of these different red squigglies. Those will go away in time. Now inside of your actual editor, reopen it up and let's open up any game mode. This could be any blueprint period, but you know, we're gonna live our life. If we go into find a new variable on this blueprint now, and I'm gonna call this test because we're testing something, and I go and try and change the type of variable, I can search for our example struct. And now you can see here, we can create an example struct type object. When I compile this so that we can see the default values, when I expand this, we can see that we have our level high score and our level star thresholds, an integer and an array of integers. There's a couple of other things I wanna share here. And to do this sharing, I'm going to show you an existing struct that I have called level stats. This is the exact same type of structure that we just created. In fact, I stole a couple of the variables here for an example. The first difference I wanna show here is in our declaration here. I'm saying that our level stats structure is going to extend off of the F table row base. F table row base lets this be a data table row. To show you what I mean, if I go back into the editor and I try and create a miscellaneous data table, we need to pick our row structure now. When I expand this, you can see that level stats does show up, but if I look for example struct, nothing is going to show up. And that is because of this here. Now, something else that you might not know is we can actually define methods for the operators that exist. So for instance, this method in code here defines what is going to take place when the equals operator is used in code. So when I try and set one level stats object equal to another one, it is going to call this method. You can do similar things for the Boolean operators as well. So you can define what makes something equal, what makes this greater than, and what makes this less than, all within code, which is really powerful. I hope this tutorial helps you make more complicated things inside of your project. Have a fantastic day and subscribe for more.